Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. In my recent videos, I did a real world test of the iOS 17.4 RC update. If you haven't checked that video, go and check this video. In that video, I talked that I am not satisfied with the performance, with the battery life of iOS 17.4 RC update. And it's been a couple of days I'm using iOS 17.4 RC update and battery is quite decent. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the changes that I did for you guys so you can also have a better battery life just like I do. So in this video, I'm going to talk about all the things that you need to change with your iPhone to get a much better battery life. So without any further delay, let's go. So what you need to do is you need to change couple of settings on your iPhone. What you need to do is simply go to settings, then go to general, then go to background app refresh over here customize the background app refresh according to your choice now when the background app refresh is on definitely that application is going to take a lot of battery while running on the background now you can customize it according to your choice for example i have turned on the background app refresh for this application because this is a news application so i don't want my news application to get refreshed on the background although i want messaging applications to get refreshed on the background so that is on but for news application it is on it can help to save a lot of battery now going back and going to the airdrop over here as you can see I have set the airdrop on it saving off so it can also help to save a battery most of the people use it on contacts only but I don't use airdrop much so I am on a saving off it can also help to save battery now going back going back coming to the main menu of the settings going over here here is in the options privacy and security go over here go all the way down go to the analytics and improvements turn these analytics and improvements setting off basically what it does it learn that how your iPhone is performing and share those data with the Apple although it is taking a battery at the background and you don't need to turn these settings on so yes you can keep these settings off to save a lot of battery now go back go to the Apple advertising turn the personalized ads off also go back go on top go to tracking now turn the tracking off for every other application as you can see I have turned the tracking off for all the applications it can also help to save a lot of battery life now go back go to location services now you can customize the location services according to your choice for example I don't want a uh, couple of applications to use my location for example I don't want calendar to use my uh, uh, my uh, location but I want camera to use it so I have choose while using this application for camera but for the calendar it is on never just like this one if I go down Chrome never compass never there are many other applications which I have choose never but some applications as you can see are using my location while I'm using the application so you can customize it according to your choice and it is also going to save a lot of your battery. Now stay in the location services, go all the way down, here are the option system services, go over here and also customize this according to your choice. For example, I don't want HomeKit or mobile network search to use my location but I want find my iPhone to use my location. So things which I want to use location are on but the things which are not important location for those things are off it can also help to save a lot of batteries so these are some of the settings that you can play with and it can improve a lot of battery life for you I have done this and I'm enjoying a much better battery life even on the iOS 17.4 RC update for example if I go over here go over here as you can see I used almost 90% of my battery life and I got screen on time of 7 hours and 37 minutes I know this is not the best just like iOS 17.2 or iOS 17.3 but it is a decent one and you can see I played a PUBG mobile a lot and it's quite a heavy game it drains battery a lot so that is why this is what I am getting well if you have any further question you can ask me in the comment section below and I will see you in my next video until that take care peace out